हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सेज दैट डिटर्मिन द कॉम्पोनेस ऑफ द रिएक्शन एट द सपोर्ट ए एंड बी ऑन द रॉड सो एट बी वी हैव द रोलर सपोर्ट एंड एट ए वी हैव दिस सपोर्ट विच कैन प्रोवाइड द रिएक्शन ओनली इन द हॉरिजेंटल डायरेक्शन and uh, which can provide the reaction a as a moment right so we will have two reactions at a it cannot provide the support reaction in the vertical direction so there will be no support in the vertical direction so we will have the reactions at a in the x direction let's say let's say this is a x and it can provide the support reaction as a moment right it can support any uh, moment so let's say that the reaction the moment reaction is let's say ma and at b we will have the support in only the upward direction since we have the roller let's say this is b y and at half of the length of the beam we have that uh, external force p so this is from here to here this is l divided by 2 and from here to here this is also l divided by 2 so now we have to find this by this ax and this ma so now if we apply the summation of forces along x that will be equals to 0 towards the right is our positive x direction so now as we can see that this ax is acting in the positive x so i will write plus ax and there is no other force in the x direction so we can say that this ax is equal to 0 so there is no horizontal reaction at a this x is equal to 0 now we have to apply the summation of forces along y that must be equals to 0 and in this is the in the upward direction is our positive y direction so we have this by this is acting in the upward direction plus by minus this p p is acting in the downward direction so we will have minus with it that is this will be equal to 0 and from this we can say that by is equal to p whatever the external force is acting here that will be equal to by will be equal to that external force and now to find this ma we are going to apply the summation of moment about this point b here we have that point b and here we have that point a so the summation of moment about point b this must be equal to 0 that the counter clockwise moment is assumed to be positive so now as we can see that this ax is passing through that point b it's not going to produce the moment about point b and this is uh, equal to zero as well so uh we will have this ma this is a couple moment so we will write plus ma since it is assumed to be in the counter clockwise direction and counter clockwise moment is positive and this p is producing the counter clockwise moment as well so about point b so we will write that minus uh this is plus uh, since it is producing the counter clockwise moment so we will write plus p and the moment arm of this p from that point b is this l divided by 2 this is the perpendicular distance of this p from that point b so we will multiply it with l divided by 2 so this is equal to 0 from this we can say that ma is equal to minus p l divided by 2 so now from this we can say that the assumed direction of ma is not accurate since we got this minus sign we have to reverse this direction so ma is acting in the clockwise direction so ma magnitude is p l divided by 2 and it must be in the clockwise direction so i will write that ma is p l divided by 2 and it is acting in the uh, clockwise direction so this is the solution of uh, this problem i hope it will help you in your learning do like and subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems related to hebla statistics